Hey guys, what's going on? BH here. Uh, I'm just going to give you a hobble update real fast. Um, I've been out of town the last couple weeks and uh, I'm so far behind on videos and I have not responded to any comments on stuff and I'm now just trying to, to catch up. So bear with me. I will comment on your stuff and uh, I will get to the videos and, and I'm excited to see what everybody's been doing. But uh, let me give you an update here real quick. Uh, Weather-wise, it was like 76 degrees yesterday. It's like 60 right now, and it's supposed to be 34 tomorrow. There's a high. So I've had my hops here have been in two snowstorms in the last couple weeks, and have done good through those. And they really started taking off again, and now it's going to snow again. So I'm debating on covering them tonight, or if I'm just going to let them go because they're pretty hardy and see if they survive it, but I uh, may cover a couple of them up. But here's my Willamettes uh, that I did last year. This is fourth year of Willamettes here. And uh, last year, I let every one of them, if a shoot came up, I let it go just to kind of do an experiment. And that was the wrong thing to do because it made a whole lot of vines, but it didn't produce very much. So uh, this year I will be cutting it back. And this plant here, I'll probably only do eight vines off of it. And that seems to, to be pretty, pretty good there. So here's the cascades I planted last year. These are second year hops. And I had two vines per rhizome last year. And you can already see on this one, there's probably 30 at least. And they're starting to go. So I'm going to be cutting these guys back here in another, uh, probably give it another week. And then the big guys, I'm going to start training. And the other ones, I'm going to cut back. So they're about, these guys here are about 18 inches or so on some of the shoots so that's pretty good but what I'm happy is every one of the rhizomes came back and they're doing good so these guys are these guys are ready to go and then let me show you here's the here's those posts from that last video I did in the the wire that runs along the top so the way I'm gonna the way that I run my strings and I'll do it next week so you guys can see it but I have eyelets down here, and I'll run a, I'll run a string from the eyelet, and I'll just let it lay lax, like just really just, just kind of smoothed out here, not tied to anything, and then it'll climb up, and then it'll run to that eyelet there. So it's not, I don't run it as a straight triangle type deal like this. I let the string hang down, and then I let it kind of pull over to the eyelet. So. There's those. Let's take a cruise over here and uh, show you the next set. And these guys are really going ballistic, really going crazy. Here's the new steps I built, so a lot easier to walk up. And there's all the wood that I'm still working on projects. And now these guys are insane. So these are these are three-year hops. Third year I've had these, but I already got nice, big, strong vines on these. And these, this is just two rhizomes. And that one right there is, is going crazy. And this one I'm gonna have to cut back next year and start, start trimming her back from the root level at least. But these guys go down here and then these are the, the guys that climb all the way up there. And the vines last year were about 21 feet high. And I uh, had a couple of setbacks on that, but these guys are these guys are doing good. Especially those, those are those are over two feet long there. And uh, so yeah, so debating if I'm gonna cover them tonight. If I end up covering them, I'll just put buckets over them. Um, just kind of wrap them up. I probably won't though, just because week and a half ago it had two feet of snow sitting on it and they did fine that way and uh, that's about it just a nice quick short update and uh, like I said I'm not dead hockey player I'm not dead um, just been you know I was gone out of town and it is what it is and now it's time to catch up so 
Uh, transferred a couple of beers, let's see, two days ago. And I got one more I need to transfer tonight. Once I get those kegged up, then I'll show you what they are and, and pour a couple of them off so you can see what they are. But uh, one of them I did with, two of them I did with DJ the Chef. And uh, one of them's an IPA, actually it's a double IPA and it, the hot bill on it was pretty crazy. And I got a little bit of video clip on that. We'll show the video clip when, uh, when I go to show you after, it, after I do the, uh, the couple, first couple pours on it. So that's about it. Uh, I may at the end of this one do a little clip tomorrow morning so you guys can see what Colorado weather is like where it's sunny one day and the next day it's a snowstorm and then the very next day it's back to sun and all the snow is gone. So uh, it may be a video at the end, may not. If there's not, cheers and we'll catch you later. Okay, so I did decide to do a second video. Here's 24 hours later and you can see we got snow. So I ended up covering the hops up. There's a pool of icy slush right there. But I did drop claws over them and protected there. There's a good old tree covered in that. You can see how much snow we got there. And there's the steps I walked down. So the other uh, hop there, it's all covered. So hopefully that's enough and uh, they'll be good. It's supposed to be 45 tomorrow or so, and then 50s back after that, so it'll only be like this for another day and a half. And uh, we should be back to normal, and hopefully they all survive and everything's good. I don't think there'll be any problems with it. So, cheers, and uh, see you later.